Hey guys, today we are going to make my gluten-free banana pudding. This is a traditional comfort dessert that we love in our house. And the day I discovered gluten-free vanilla wafers, I was just so excited. I knew the first thing I was gonna make was banana pudding. But I wanna tell you guys, you can make this healthier. I pretty much have all organic ingredients that are gonna go into this, except for the vanilla wafers. So you can make this healthier. If you prefer not to, that's okay too. The main point of this is that it's gluten-free. What I'm going to do is how we're gonna start is we're gonna make the pudding. So I have two cups of my almond milk. If you don't wanna do almond milk, you don't have to do almond milk. Um, I get a cook pudding and this is three and a half ounces, which is what? If you find a different type of vanilla pudding that you wanna use that's gluten-free, absolutely. Just make sure that you only use three and a half ounces. I'm going to put one egg yolk into this because it just makes it extra creamy, extra decadent, and extra delicious. So again, we just poured the almond milk into here. I'm gonna put my pudding mix down on top. Then I'm going to get my, um, just the yolk, not the whole egg, just the yolk. And so I'm going to separate it right here. And then I'm going to put my yolk down. You wanna make sure you whisk this really, really well. We do not want to scramble the egg. So as this is cooking, you wanna make sure that you're constantly stirring it and check and checking on it. The pudding mixture, once it starts getting to a boil, you're going to cook it for one more additional minute and it will start to get nice and thick. Okay, the pudding is done being cooked and as you can see, it's a nice thick mixture. Again, you're gonna make sure that you get it to boiling, cook it for an additional minute, turn it off, and then now I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla to it just because you can never have enough vanilla in a dessert as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we're just gonna stir that down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear some of this out just so we have enough room so I can show you what the next step will be. Alrighty, for the next step, I have room temperature cream cheese. If you forget about that step and you're like, oh no, you can put it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds and you can soften it up. Then I have a can of sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna put this down into the bowl. I'm going to use my little stand mixer here and I'm going to beat this until we have a nice, smooth, creamy layer. As you can see, we went ahead and beat the cream cheese and the sweetened condensed milk, and now we have a nice, just creamy, creamy layer. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and combine the pudding with our other cream cheese condensed milk mixture, and we're just going to incorporate both of them because this is going to what's gonna turn into our yummy pudding mixture or our gluten-free banana pudding. All right, everything is mixed down, everything's incorporated perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and put this into my fridge to let the mixture just cool down a little bit before we start assembling the banana pudding. While the pudding is chilling, let me talk to you about the whipped cream. You can easily go to the store and buy um, the whipped topping that they have if you need a more of a dairy-free version or whatever your family enjoys. I like to make homemade whipped cream because it takes next to no time to make it. All you need is heavy whipping cream, some powdered sugar, and whatever extract that you like. So I did make some homemade whipped cream. If not, don't worry about it. We did do a video tutorial on that, so you can check that out also. But that's what we'll be using today in the banana pudding. Now here's the fun part to kind of assemble everything. I've just let the pudding chill in the fridge while I cleaned up my dishes, sliced my bananas, just kind of be productive. And by the time you're all done with that, you're ready to go. It doesn't have to be completely, completely cold because it is gonna set up in the fridge. You guys can use a nine by 13 inch pan and just layer as you go. If you wanna make it fun and festive, which I wanna show you guys because that's what the picture looks like, this is what we do. So all I did is put down a whole layer of cookies right on the bottom, which makes for setting up the outside cookies, it has something to kind of sit and rest on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a layer of bananas I find that if you have large bananas, you can only need about two. If you have uh, medium-sized bananas, three. I don't like a 
crazy, crazy amount of bananas in. I mean, I like bananas, but I don't think that there's five or six bananas are needed at all in this recipe. So I've got some bananas down in top of here. I'm going to then add a pudding layer on top of the bananas and try to just do it right in the middle and it'll hope push your cookies out just a little bit. Then smooth that out. You need to adjust your cookies like I'm doing right now. Great. Then you're gonna put a layer of whipped cream right down on top. And then we're gonna continue to just keep layering this dish. And I'll show you in just a minute. All right, I got the whipped cream down and you can start seeing we're gonna start doing some layers. So now we go back with the cookies again and you can put all down on top, these, um, the gluten-free vanilla wafers, it just depends. My gang likes a lot of cookies in it. So I usually typically go through about one to one and a half bags. If you don't like as many cookies, you can easily just use one. The fun part about when you're doing tri-folds like this is the bananas, because they've got, can start sticking. So you can just put them onto the side like this and you can give that fun appearance. So you could either do half and half, you guys can get as creative as that you would like with your trifold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and keep sticking my bananas and cookies, bananas and cookies. I'm gonna put another layer of my pudding, another layer of my whipped cream, and then I'll be back again. All right guys, we've layered everything up. Everything looks beautiful. We are ready to go. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna cover this with a little bit of saran wrap. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it chill, let it completely form up so it's ready to go for any type of party or event that you're having. Thank you guys so much for following along. As always, right below there is a link that will take you right to my blog, Red's Reality, where it'll have printable instructions and everything you need to know to go ahead and make this recipe. Thanks guys.